We're recording, we're ready. Did I just define it in the most succinct way? Like When your subject matter is drawn from your own life, the audience then is able to build a relationship with you. In fact, which I'm sure both of you will agree, a lot of video editors make really great directors. So that's how I got into directing. And then it turns out a lot of video editors make really good producers. So that's how I got into producing. I have never used Adobe Premiere before. Yeah. So how do I even get started? What was the kind of like the next thing you were gonna try to start to work on? The whole idea for the video is just um, different audio clips for my podcast okay. and visualizing that. There's a few ways you can start to actually edit in Premiere. You can edit from the source monitor and all the source monitor is is the visual representation of what you have in your project media folder. Okay. You can use this to sort of pick a select within a clip or you can edit actually within the timeline itself. The other thing I would say is starting to learn the keyboard shortcuts mm -hmm. is really helpful and it's something that I would start to do as soon as possible. Hopefully I've just given you a few basic shortcuts to help you now be able to get your A roll cut down and mm -hmm. your B roll cut. The way that you get better, of course, is tons and tons of practice. I have all different clips for my podcast and then I added a song on that. So yesterday that was like my big thing to make it all the audio go together. And now today I'm doing the video component to that. So you must have. No, but <laughs> I've waited there. I want to work on the transition of things so that it doesn't look super duper choppy. Right. But that it is very like quick moving but still like looks really clean, you know? Yeah, totally. So I think the first transition that I'm gonna teach you doesn't even have anything to do with video, it has to do with audio. Okay. So see how like we cut all these clips up into these pieces and as you're playing through it, sometimes you might get like a little blip on one side or the other. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna put a tiny little transition, two frame transition okay. in between every single one of these audio files. So we're gonna go to effects, and then under uh, audio transitions, open that up, crossfade. We're gonna grab constant power and drag it in between the first two. See how long it is right now? Yeah. Double click on it. And you can see the transition duration right now is one, one second. second. Yeah. So instead, we're gonna make it two frames and then press OK. You can zoom in on it. You can see it's really, really small. Yeah. So right now it's selected, so we can copy it. We can go Command C and then go to the next one. There it is. OK. And then Command V. Right? Okay. But that's kind of hard to do that every single time, right? What if we could select multiple cut points okay. at once? Efficiency. Easy, right? <laughs> if you want to select cut points, you have to press command. Okay. And then select. So look at uh -huh. me selecting all the cut points and, and then, then going command, command v. v. Wow. wow. So I feel like we learned a lot. I'm gonna leave you to it. Perfect, thank you. Of course. I have pretty much everything done besides a few graphics that I will need to throw in. And I went and I found some sound effects for the beginning since I'm doing it like I'm on a plane announcement. So I needed to find the like ding to start off. So now I'm just in the nitty gritty details. Good luck. Thank you. As I'm looking through my work, I've realized that I have like a lot of common themes across all of them. So I have like a lot of shower scenes, a lot of uh, drinking, a lot of uh, blood. It's so like a lot of stuff that like goes into each other. So yeah, I'm trying to make it all seem like one story. Good luck. Thank you. So I really want to like try and like match color with an existing video I already have. I never really play around with that. So if you have any tips. I have all the tips. Okay, all right, perfect. we're gonna get started. So what's the two clips? Probably like from like here. Mm -hmm. And I'm trying to match this. Intense. I'm scared of myself. Are you? Yeah, a Because you did all this. This was <laughs> all you. This is premeditated. Just get it in the timeline so we can color. Right. Okay, so first of all, we're okay. gonna move into the color workspace. Got it. 
So we're now in the color workspace. So I'm actually gonna show you a tip to kind of match your color quickly. Mm -hmm. We can go down straight to color wheels and match and switch on comparison view. So this will give us two windows. But the one on the left is actually your timeline. Mm -hmm. So you can zoom across to your other video. So I think there is good. So if we wanna match this frame to your older video, mm -hmm. we just have to click apply match. Wow. And now it's giving it that kind of red glow. Mm -hmm. Obviously it's not gonna look identical because you shot with a red background, but if you look, your skin tones are actually pretty similar mm. and the blood has gone to the same kind of tint. Not bad. Not terrible, no. I like it. I like it too. Now I understand like whites, blacks, highlights, and shadows. So yeah. now there's a formula to it. Yeah, it's really easy. Thank you. Oh, no worries.